Hello all, let's solve problem number 9.20 NCRT textbook physics standard 12 ray optics chapter. The problem is very very good and we are given that there is an object, there is a convex lens, its image is formed on the screen, the distance between the object and the image is given as 90 centimeters. Now currently you may see that this lens is very far away from the object so you may consider the object to be beyond 2f. Say for example f is somewhere over here, this is 2f, the object is beyond 2f. So the image must be very small and it should be between f and 2f like this. Please do not consider this lens. This is your lens, object and the image and the image is real and inverted. Alright. Now what will happen if I shift this lens in this direction over here? What is going to happen is the distance between the object and the screen or the image remains same but when this lens comes here this object falls between f and 2f of this lens and now this screen which is located over here falls beyond 2f where the image is to be formed and now this time you will get a larger image. So for same distance between the object and image there are two positions where you will get the real image on the screen. This is known as displacement method to obtain the focal length of the lens. Correct? Now they have already given in the question that we are shifting this lens by 20 centimeters in this direction. So for this lens position this is the object distance, this is the image distance. For this lens position this is the object distance and this is the image distance and these are interchangeable. It is because of the fact that we know 1 upon f is 1 upon v minus 1 upon u but since u is negative this can be written as 1 upon v plus 1 upon u anyhow for convex lens this is positive. So these u and v are interchangeable values which means the u1 in the first case becomes v2 in the second case and the u2 in the second case becomes v1 in the second case. Okay. So now let us consider the lens to be over here then u1 plus v1 is equal to 90 centimeter in the same way when the lens is over here u2 plus v2 is equal to again 90 centimeter because the distance between the object and the lens doesn't change. So generally writing u plus v is equal to 90 centimeter now I would have never done that but since I am going to place u negative it is because of the fact that we are given the distance over here. Had it been no distance over here I would never take u as negative. Right? Now I am going to use the lens formula and I am going to plug the value of v obtained from here into here. So it will be v that is equal to 90 plus u. This is going to be substituted over here. So 1 upon f that is equal to 1 upon 90 plus u minus 1 upon u. Now just solving this further. Now this is the quadratic equation in one variable and you know that there are two solutions that are possible and those solutions will be u1 and u2 because we have assumed the generalized equation like this. So you will be getting two values of u1 and u2 from here. Correct? And by maths we know that u1 multiplied by u2 should be equal to 1 multiplied by 90f. So it should be 90f. This is my first equation. The second equation is very clear. u1 minus u2 is 20 centimeters. u1 minus u2 is 20 centimeters. This is my second equation and the third equation is the sum of the roots that is u1 plus u2 that should be 90. We know this very well. So taking these two equations and solving this is 3 and this is 2. So simply adding these two equations these two getting cancelled. So u1 turns out to be 90 plus 2010 so u1 would be 55 centimeter and plugging the value u2 would be 35 centimeter. Correct. So we have obtained both the object distances. Now I am going to plug this value in the first equation. So it becomes 35 into 55 is equal to 90f. 
Now, if you will find the value that is 35 into 55 divided by 90. So, if you solve this, you will get this value as 21.38 centimeters, which is the answer to our problem. That would be the focal length. So, this is actually known as displacement method to find the focal length. Now, another way that is the short trick method. Directly, you can use focal length is equal to d square minus small d square upon 4d sorry capital D this capital D is this distance so if you plug in all the values you will again get the same answer over here this is the short trick and this one is the long method.